the things I do for this show, I just got stung on the blooming eyeball trying to get this organised. That blooming hurt. Anyway, we're just down here at the beehives. We've had a request from a guy that's down in the city where he's got himself organised and having this cool honeycomb on his recipe. On his recipe. On his menu. <laughs> Not on his recipe. It's in the recipe, but it's on the menu for his restaurant. Anyway, so we've got to harvest him a few actual just bee frames and... We thought, well, what the heck, we'll show you the whole getting the B-frame out and getting it ready for a sale. So I was just talking to my um, mentor, Les, who's teaching me about beekeeping in a, in a bit of a wild format, and I asked him, what's the most important thing with beekeeping? And he said, don't forget your smoker, lad. So I thought that was interesting. Of all the equipment that you can have, the smoke is still the most important thing you need. So we better get that out of the back of the ute before I get another sting. That'll teach me to do the intro without me smoke. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what have we got? We got the little tin here somewhere. I'm too short. <laughs> oh, come on. Bloody hell. <laughs> get some longer legs. Oh, now, do you bring any hessian larrikin? No. I have got some in here. Have I got any of this thing? We've got some starter hessian. Oh, I wonder if I bought any scissors. I at least bought a knife. Oh, gosh. One day we might sit down and just cut some hessian bags into like proper filler up a bit and perhaps even wrap some string around it. That'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? Not plastic string though. It'd have to be what's the name string. I'm too big a coward to do it without me suit. <laughs> Get the bloody lighter, you smart individual. Goodness me. <sighs> Home on the range, where the deer and the antelope play. Not that we have any deer or antelope at all, do we? So we'd have to sing our own song. Home on the range, where the kangaroos and the possums play. It's not even on a range, actually, is it? Oh, gah, hang on, we're going to have to get out of the wind. <laughs> what would we call it if it's not a range? Oh, where's the scissors when you want them? Honestly. Oh, watch out, I cut myself in the personals. <laughs> that would be interesting, wouldn't it? Well, at least I've already had kids, so, you know. Mm. Oh, shit! <laughs> That's the bit we want. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> All else fails, I'd get a job on the Puffing Billy, couldn't I? Now, if you're wondering what the Puffing Billy is, it's actually a steam engine train that runs down the... And sometimes the steam engine can't get used because it's summertime, so they have to use a diesel engine. And I figure they might actually be able to hire me to sit up the front and go, smoke, smoke, smoke. And I could do, they could just pretend. Might need a bit bigger smoker than that too. Oh, anyway, I'm just thinking up ideas. Oh, bloke should bring a hive tool, that'd be helpful. That's the second most important thing. <laughs> What's going on, chicky babes? Let's see what we've got here in the weight department. Oh, that's pretty heavy. That's oh, pretty heavy. Oh my goodness, I think there might be some honey just here. We don't need too much more than those three. Hello, baby girls, what's going on? Let's have a look at what's under the hood. <laughs> Do this one the same if I can get me silly dolly cord around. <laughs> oh, come on, girls. What are we doing? <gasps> oh, they're busy in there. <laughs> i got a little newt box over here that's got some frames in it, so I figure we'll take the frames with some honey out of here and put them in the little box that we can take home so the Mrs. Bush bee man can wrap them up nice for a young fella down in town. But I'll be back. 
Oh, I think I think this will do the job. Hey, look at that! I got a pine cone. <laughs> this is the silliest project ever in the history of agriculture. These are supposed to be pine nut trees, and they're I don't know how old they are now. But look at that! I thought they might have all been boys. But I've, I love. No wonder pine nuts are so jolly expensive. Have a look at how little that is. Yeah. How the heck are we going to get the nuts out of it? No, I don't know. We'll have to have a look now. We've got a cone. I've got one cone. Yeah, I've actually got one pine cone. Woohoo! And my dad's not even alive to see it because he wanted to cut them down years ago. Ha! Oh, well, there you go. Maybe he's shining down from heaven and just sent me a cone to say, Nani, nani, nah. There's no other ones in here, but. Well, maybe. Well, anyway, I don't know. We might have to have a proper look. Sorry, I digress. We're, we're meant to be getting honeycomb. <laughs> Oh, I got a pine cone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness me. Ah, oh, it's so much fun, isn't it, hanging around with me? <laughs> What's going on, chicks? Let's have, oh, they look good. We might put a marker on this one. This is definitely going to be a box for some splitting. What have we got, ladies? Have we got any food that Dad can have a borrow of? Let's have a look here, see if we can get you excited. It's amazing, you can feel the warmth coming off them. Oop, not quite to the bottom. Pretty good though. So they've nibbled a bit down the bottom. Now, where are we going to go? Over there, a bit further away from the brood nest. <laughs> We're going to do a split off of this box because they look really good. Oh, they've been nibbling on the bottom. <laughs> oh, heck. So close. What's that outside one doing? That's not quite ready either. Uh, I thought it might be fun. Maybe we'll have to go back and steal out of Mum's backyard yet. You girls are a little bit toey, aren't you? Close. <laughs> that one's pretty close. It's the wrong time of year to be here, sort of harvesting honey. <laughs> we'll have a look in here as well. Ooh. Well, that might only have the weight down the bottom, but anyway, we'll see. <laughs> Rightio. Well, we're gonna, shall we go in there first while you're here? I think you're there. <laughs> La 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 da da. Oh, I reckon that's the one. Look at that. That looks pretty bloody good. It's even changed changed the different colours. I reckon that'll work. So we'll pop that in here. I can just drop that in there like that. Well, I reckon that one's looking alright too. There's a little bit in that corner, so but. Heck, if he can't get some squares out of that, that would be amazing. That's just where we're at at the minute. I reckon we'll take these two out of here, and then we'll grab one out of that end one, and we should be all good. And that'll look fabulous. We'll pop these two back in the middle, where we've just been, put you all back together, and you won't even know it's happened. Will you, gals? Because you'll be off to the spring paradise soon, hopefully. Golly gosh. Hopefully we can find somewhere that's paradise for you this year after the last few seasons. And being that it's that jolly dry still, I don't know what's going to happen. Apparently there's been a fair bit of rain down the southeast, so we might have to get this jolly truck organised so we can move some of these girls a bit further distances. I'll tell you, this hobby gets out of control. I think it's gone. I think it's definitely drifted on from a hobby. Jesus, Jiminy Cricket. The secretary was saying to me the other day, we better start making a profit out of this jolly hobby sometime soon. I said, I think it's bigger than a hobby. <laughs> I think we've moved on. Anyway, hopefully. Do do that. That'd be right, but it's got a big jolly hollow in it. Ah, poop. The one next to it looks all right, though. We'll push, put that. We were going to put that for a minute, John, over here. Oh, golly. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? It's weird how they've sort of like built into that frame because obviously the, 
That's what happens when your wax gets a bit wobbly bum <laughs> when it gets hot before they get into it. Sorry. Oh my goodness. Good on you girls, you've done a good job. I was asking the bloke whether he was putting this on the breakfast menu, because I've seen on the breakfast menu where you have it on a little stand and they run a knife through it and the honey runs down and onto your crumpets. But no, apparently it's on just on the menu. I haven't seen a photo yet, but I'm looking forward to it. So that could be kind of cool. So this one's got to come back out and go back in. <laughs> uh, there we go. I'll just put that one back where it was. Uh, put this back in here. When you're extracting it, it won't matter. But because he wants it for actual display, we have to give him nice ones, don't we? Very good. Oh, I think that will be bloody done there. Sorry if we pop that back there. Put the little ladies back to bed. Surprising how you can feel the warmth from the girls coming through the foam. I reckon if you're stuck in Antarctica, maybe you should get yourself into a little house and full of bees and you could sleep there. Oh, that's a fair bit heavier than when we carried it here. Poo wee. <laughs> oh, there's more than five kilograms on each of those frames, I reckon. Oh. Hey, look. We've almost got enough for a stir fry. There's another two. <laughs> ah, do you reckon we should pick one? Well, I'll tell you what we will do. We'll go back to the ute and we might um, have a bit of Google research and see whether we're meant to harvest them. Hell, I reckon there might be limited <laughs> pine cone information. Pine nut information, actually. Anyway, stay tuned. You never know. We might need some pine nut crackers. What do you reckon? I'm just wondering whether we should get another frame so it doesn't wobble. Nah, that'll be alright. Shave and some honeycomb. <laughs> no, anyway, go and get the smoker. That's what you need to do, Bush Bee Man. <laughs> so you're going to stalk out and put your hood on to go and get the pine nuts? Yeah, well, John reckons I'm being a cowdy cowdy custard, but I've already got a sting on the top of my eye here, and I'm supposed to be going giving a talk this afternoon to some school teachers about how much fun bees are, and if I turn up with half my face swollen up, they'll probably bloom and reject the concept before I get started. So I'd like to turn up there with my face in some semblance of order. And I know I'm not all that pretty anyway, but still, just swollen might not be a good option. So there you have it. We're going to go pine nut harvesting in a blooming apiary. I don't know, and it's not even the biggest tree. So, how the hell are we going to harvest them when they... I read that you could shake them off, but... Nah, and anyway, that nah, doesn't matter, does it? We'll just pick the ones we can reach when they get that far. Well, well at least they come off easy. I wonder if you could shake them later on. Because I was reading somewhere that you could shake them off and pick them up a bit like walnuts and stuff. Yeah, that'd be interesting sweeping them up, wouldn't it? Maybe we'll just give the branch a rattle and see if it falls off. <laughs> God, these things are going to be massive. <laughs> I don't think they're going to fall off by themselves. <laughs> anyway, I don't know. Hello. Golly gosh. God. I was expecting them to be big cones, but they're only little. Anyway, apparently we put them in a hessian sack and let them dry out. Yeah. Maybe we'll throw them in the oven. We could have them roasted pine nuts and we'll just skip a, skip a process. Do you reckon we should have a bit of a look to see if we've got any others? Sheepers. Tell you what. What do you reckon the wife will say if I say, look, I've got some pine nuts for you to open up. <laughs> Pretty much sure that'll be like not bloody likely, Bush Bee Man. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Here we come to the packing department. Oh, golly gosh, the things that go on here at the Bush Bee Man. <laughs> God, that's, a, that's actually pretty blooming heavy. I'm glad we're not posting. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, gosh. righty -o. So we've arrived at the wrapping department and my work is done. So I'm about to hand over to the official wrapper-upper of stuff because she's been wrapping presents since the kids were little and now they're all growing up. And if you've ever seen me wrap a Christmas present, you'd know it's not, the, not my forte. I even wrap up my poor lovely wife's birthday present and she's so cute that she says it's all very nice and now she just asked for them in a bag. So I've been fired off the wrapping. So I'm gonna hand over to the wrapper upper who's got some real talent.
Thank you for purchasing honeycomb from the bush bee man. Look at that, she's even got a little bee. It's a walking bee though, it didn't get any wings. <laughs> Look how cute's that. Tell you what, as you can see, that's why I'm not in charge of the wrapping department. So, we all work together here at the Bush Bee Company. Everybody's got their role to play. I've got an official wrapper upper Now all I've got to do is hand it to the transport department. Thank you, John. 